Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is to answer a question of a viewer that has a Windows 10 installed in a different language and would like to change the language of the operating system. What is nice in Windows 10 is that unless you have the single language version, so if it is the N version, you are stuck with a language, but if you are on the regular um, home or pro version, you can download language packs and actually change the Windows 10 language without having to reinstall Windows. And this is something that was new with Windows 10 that is really, really cool. So what you need to do is simply go to your settings. In your settings, you will go into time and language. Here, you have language on the left side. One of the things that it says is the Windows display language. This is what decides if your what the language is of your different menus and settings and so on and the apps that you'll download. Mine is set to English United States, but I also have French, Canada or French France. How do you do this? You have to first of all add a language. So you need to click that add a language here and choose what you want as a language. So you will go and choose the language in the list. You can, of course, search for it, uh, type whatever you're searching for. Here we go. And if you want to have something different, you just choose whatever it is. Click the next button. So this will have display language possibility, text to speech possibility, speech recognition, and handwriting. You might wonder why there are, for example, several different English. Well, we don't all, all pronounce the English the same way. So for speak re speech recognition, for example, we might have little variants of words that are different from one country to the other. So whatever language you want to add, that's what you'll do. Once you had all the capabilities and make sure, so for example, here there's English Canada. It says language pack available. So, of course, you can download the language pack and uh, by going into the options and making sure that you download the language pack. And you, of course, set the regional format and so on correctly. So by clicking download here, for example, my language pack, I will now have the language pack capability uh, installed for English Canada. One of the things also is that you can change the priority of these by clicking, for example, a language and clicking the up or down button. That is a possibility. You can click and have that up or down move it in priority. So the first one at the top is often the priority where the other ones are not. So that might be something you'll want to move. Move it up, move it down to give it the proper priority, which one is the most important language to you. And of course, remember that that display language, you'll have it by changing it here. So you'll be able to click and it's going to ask you to restart your session or your um, so or sometimes even restart the PC. Once you are restart, um, your computer is as restarted, you will have that new language. Now, one thing that might happen and will happen, a lot of the apps that are installed will need to be reinstalled starting from there. You'll have to remove them and reinstall them. Why? Because they will be stuck at the same language. They downloaded and installed with the preferences you have, and that will stay. It unfortunately doesn't you know, affect the apps themselves. So you'll have to remove them and reinstall them and they will have at the reinstall the language that your system has. So that's one of the little uh, quirks of, of Windows apps. But apart from that, you will have a new start menu, a new uh, settings menu. Everything will be in that language that you have actually chosen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.